Dear Stewart Town students, teachers, principal, and members of the school community. It's me, Miss Dominique. I can hardly believe that it's been two whole years since I first stepped through that school gate. We've been through so much together. I was so excited and nervous when I first arrived. I was like, OMG, will they like me? Will they make fun of the way I talk? Will they be kind? Will the food taste nice? It turn up. And now, countless morning devotions, endless school functions, three graduating classes, hundreds of school days, and lots of learning later, my time at Stuart Town has come to an end. Thank you for all of the dancing, all of the silly times. Thanks for all of the songs that you've taught me. They've warmed my soul with music and I'm inspired by the talent that you possess. No one ever says teaching is easy, but I think everyone agrees that it is well worth it. Students of Stuart Town, you have proven that every child can learn. I firmly believe that every child must learn and I am so delighted to have been a part of that journey for many of you. To the teachers, Mrs. Mullings, Mr. Houghton, Ms. Taylor, Ms. Johnson, Mrs. Patton, Mrs. Buckner, to Mr. Carter, Ms. Ray Reed, Ms. Michael, and Mrs. Johnson, although they are no longer at school with us, a tremendous thank you for all that you have given me. I've learned so much about Jamaica, and what it's like to be a teacher here from you. I'm going to miss our lunchtime laughs in the staff room. To Mrs. Gordon, our fearless principal, the connection you and I had was so immediate it had to be fate. I still remember smiling at you from across the room at Supervisor's Day in Kingston. Thank you for your endless kindness and patience. You really are one of a kind. To my students, you all have the potential for greatness, but heed my advice here. Nothing comes free, and anything worth having takes hard work. Got that? Work hard, and it'll pay off. I will leave you all with a quote from the late Mrs. Eleanor Roosevelt, who was the wife of my favorite US president. The quote says, the future belongs to those who believe in the power of their dreams. And so, my lovelies, keep dreaming. If you can dream it, you can do it, but not without hard work. I can't wait to see what you all accomplish. With all of my love, Miss Dominic.